An American Airlines flight approaching Washington's Reagan National Airport early Wednesday morning gets no response from the only air traffic controller on duty. A second pilot gets a warning as his United flight approaches. So you're aware, oh, it's, it's that one aircraft go into DCA, the uh, um, tower is apparently unmanned. I called on the phones and uh, nobody's, uh, nobody's answering, so that the aircraft went in uh, uh, just as a controlled airport. Luckily, both flights landed safely, but the guessing game in the sky continued as to what happened to the missing air controller. Well, I'm going to take a guess and say that the controller uh, got locked out. I've heard of this happening before. That's the first time I've heard it. Yeah, unfortunately it's not very often, but yeah, it happened about a year ago. But I'm not sure that's what happened now, but anyway, there's nobody in the tower. Interesting. It is. But the controller who was suspended pending an investigation had another explanation. He told investigators from the National Transportation Safety Board he had fallen asleep for a period of time during his shift. American 1900, the uh, tower's back in business, so uh, normal off. That was, a, that was a close call. Go ahead, Nico. An understatement for what's now an FAA investigation. I'm very upset. This should not have happened. We should not have had this gap in communications. We, we, we had to rely on a backup system, which shouldn't have happened. Peter Goles is a former transportation Absolutely. safety official. You would think that in the nation's capital, less than a minute from the White House, that the staffing and the security level at the tower would be such that this kind of thing wouldn't happen. Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood ordered immediate changes, now requiring two air traffic controllers on duty for the overnight shift. It is not acceptable to have just one controller in the tower managing air traffic in this critical airspace. Air travelers were surprised to find out about the incident. It just is kind of stunning that the system would have been the way it did with just one person in the tower. It is disconcerting, but I do fly a lot, and I really do have a lot of respect for all the, the personnel who run everything. The suspended air traffic controller has 20 years experience, 17 right here at Reagan National Airport. Federal investigators say he was working his fourth consecutive overnight shift and was given a routine drug test as part of the investigation. The FAA says at no time were the 165 passengers and crew members on board those two planes in any harm's way. Sandra Endo, CNN, at Reagan National Airport.